Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Gorilla Frilla, and um, this is gonna be a special commentary. Um, basically, I just want to talk to you kind of about my real life. You see the title, and um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, it's basically on a topic that I usually don't share just because it's irrelevant, and people usually I don't want people judging me, like based on like if I tell them this right away. Because that's ten. That's what people tend to do. They judge you when you say something like this. But um, hopefully I've like made myself somewhat intelligent and like not a a goon ass fool. In simpler words, <laughs> uh, through my commentaries and stuff. And basically, just what just what I want to tell you guys. I am on probation. And it isn't like I could stab someone, so I'm on probation. And yes, it is probation with the law. Everyone always asks, like, probation, like your parents are grounded? No, I'm on probation. Um, in eighth grade, I'll, I'll basically just break down the story for you guys. Because um, everyone's always so curious. I end up telling the story about, like, once a day because someone at my school or someone one of my friends didn't know and they're like really on probation why and then I had to explain this whole story but <sighs> so here it is like back in eighth grade um me and my friends we kind of got into graffiti it all started with my friend Nick and he like took a train ride with his family and they like went through Oakland and all these different places in the Bay Area and on the way he, like took pictures of all this graffiti that he saw and so he came back because I lived in Sacramento at the time and currently I live in the Bay Area actually but back then I lived in Sacramento he came back and he showed me all these pictures so we started like looking stuff up on the internet about uh, about graffiti and we, it started like interesting us a lot so we started like drawing like I wonder if we could do this and we started drawing and all this stuff <coughs> and we sucked we were terrible I never was good the whole time I was doing graffiti uh, now I'm somewhat decent I haven't drawn in a while but at my peak I was pretty good and that's when I wasn't writing at all I'm like illegally writing so um he came back and then we started writing or we started drawing and everything and then one day he showed me that like he actually did tag somewhere with one of his other friends and he like took a picture of it and he showed me and I was like oh wow like cause me and him it was just like it was like a big deal for us to take our graffiti that we, all we did was just draw and maybe like paint on a piece of cardboard or something it was like a big deal for us to like take it to the streets and we're only in eighth grade too so we weren't like super badass and I did live in like a fully white town if you know where um Roseville is or you, if you've been there then you know what I'm talking about this is right by Sacramento in California and um <clears throat> anyways so he did it and then I I want to kind of try it out too. So then, like, uh, d we started doing like during the day, like just marker, like paint markers and stuff. We got them from like through my friend and all this different stuff, and we basically started just tagging different places, bathrooms and like fast food places and stuff like that. Just writing our tags and little stuff like that. And then uh, he had a friend named Michael from the school I didn't go to because me and my friend Nick we didn't go to we didn't go to the same schools. I went to a Catholic school, and um, he went to like a Pope school. I went to the same Pope school with him before. Then my mom put me in a, a Catholic school because she didn't like it. So then I was in there, and he was in a public school. And he had a friend named Michael who was a year younger than us. And um, Michael had a cousin named Mason. So hopefully you can follow this story. And Mason already had been tagging, so he'd start coming over to Michael's house and like hanging out. And then what would happen is they'd all, they'd come over like and hang out with Nick, and then Nick would start writing with them. Writing is like another word for tagging. That's what writers and <clears throat> they write and yeah. So tagging is kind of like an informal word for it, or I don't know if formal is the right word, but the people who are actually into graffiti they call it writing and everything. So just for the people who don't know, that's what it is. So you'll hear me referring it to as writing a lot. So they started writing all together and eventually I kind of hopped in with them and then they had the grand idea to sneak out of the house and so we all s we all snuck out one night I remember that night like I packed up my backpack all late at night with like spray paint and stuff and I waited till my parents to fall asleep so then I crept down the stairs I threw my backpack or I went outside I threw my backpack over the fence jumped over and then 
walk down the street to my friend's house and this is like one o'clock in the morning so then we meet up and remember we are like 13 14 years old so <laughs> I guess this was like pretty stupid now I look back on it and um, <laughs> it still was fun though the adrenaline rush from being out late at night even if you're not doing anything illegal it's, it's still fun just being out at night but the fact that you're doing something illegal like tagging and you're watching out for cops and you feel like a badass especially as an 8th grader it was like I don't know it was like a really cool experience I guess at the time and so we just like kind of walk around the city and we just tag up different spots we'd like try finding cool places to go and tag and that's basically what we did all night and we'd come home around like four or five o'clock and I ended up doing this like uh, every weekend every other weekend maybe it depends like one one two times a week I'd sneak out of my house and um <clears throat> but all throughout the like the weekdays and stuff me and my friend would be meeting up and then we'd like we'd do our little paint marker game and we'd be walking places and we'd be hitting places up and we'd like ride our bikes all over the place and try finding new spots and because when you get into graffiti you learn like it's all about getting ups that's what they call it is just getting your name everywhere so then you get known it's all about fame kind of like this youtube thing i think about it it's all about your fame and your tags are kind of like your subscribers and or more than more like your videos i guess and then you, the more you get the better you are people respect you and stuff so it's kind of like this youtube thing but it's like completely anonymous and people don't ever really know who you are you're just like a a figure to them like oh this writer's really good even though I've never seen him met him know who he's like anything this you want to build a spec kind of in the area we're living graffiti meant nothing pretty much just because like I said it was like all white city but to us in our heads as eighth graders as delusional as we were we're just like yeah this is cool and everything so but we'd be doing that with the, the whole paint mark thing during the day and then my friend Nick uh, 